Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, put a Ethernet and a coaxial cable wall jack. So uh, I've been meaning to do this. I'm hardwiring the uh, house with internet. So yeah, for this video, we're gonna use some tools. You know, like number one is I'm gonna use a pencil to mark on the wall. Yeah. The wall jack. It has the Ethernet over there. And All descriptions this. is gonna be down down below. Okay, by the details. And there's the coaxial cable for your cable TV. So in this room, we use this as a library. We can have internet and also um, cable line here if you want to put a TV and all that stuff. And also we're gonna use the low voltage wall adapter. A drywall saw and a zircon stud finder I'm gonna put the description below this really works for me I've been using this for years now and of course the handy dandy screwdriver my favorite screwdriver way from the Philippines see it has double Phillips over there flat head over there I usually use this Phillips so first of all I want to make a mark find the stud I'm gonna do it like that so you guys can see it and then when you see that light you mark it there and then go the other way mark it there so you can get the middle of the stud that's running over here so i got that i know that there's no stud over here i'm gonna place it here close to the outlet and then we're gonna trace this thing the uh, wall adapter There you go, stud is over here, going over there. I don't want to get it too close to the uh, electrical outlet. Then trace the inside of the wall adapter and not the outside. Because if you trace it to the outside, um, this will go through the wall. As you can see with this, it has an inside plate and I mean like yeah there's a, a guard there for the wall to go through and the outside this is the outside plate if you can see 3d vertically like that oh there you go you see this this is the plate that's supposed to go on the wall this one will go through the wall okay so I trace the inside Let's see if they will if it if it's gonna land at the same height as my um outlet. Uh, need to put it lower, I guess. Because it's gonna go like that. So I need to make sure uh, uh make sure it doesn't actually matter much, but I just wanna make it look nicer so I should be doing the lower part over there so it should go lower there we go oh that made sense. Dada. Hmm. Dada, did you got it? Dada. There you go. Uh -huh. There we go. Crazy it again. There we go. That's much better. It is much better. There you go. Now you figured Just it use out. Use this as a ruler. 
Yeah, I like to make things work. I don't need to go running up and down yep. the house. There you go. And then we're going to use our handy dandy saw for this. So I punched the hole there. Yep. are now sewing the wall again yep so hopefully my wire is still here because i put it like a couple of days ago Punch it in, start and, sewing. And then you so make for good this shape. thing, for this project, I'm not gonna use any power tools. Just to show you guys that you don't actually always need a power tool yeah. to do this stuff. There you go. And then I got the piece. Yep. Now he it is it. time for me to look for the wire. Yep. Working. Okay, I found the wires. Right over here. Wait, Dad, I went in the attic. So, I'm gonna put this now. This is gonna take a while to screw in, but with some patience, you can do this. Yep, my dad can do it. I don't know what that means. There you go. Well, like, I guess I need to cut a little bit more. Downside of this is just a lot messy. I'm not gonna lie, it is messy. My screwdriver. Just screw this in. As you can see, if you saw, the wings already went up there. And yep, there you go. That is it. And the other one. This is just for low voltage wall adapter because this is not an electricity because if you cannot use this for electricity because of the risk of fire. So this is just used for low voltage like these ones. They don't carry much electricity on them. Unlike with this one, this you really need a uh, utility box. So in the event that there's like a spark inside, it will be contained inside the utility box, unlike this one. So now, it's just a matter of plugging this and this. I want the cable, coaxial cable on the lower side. So it's not in the way. There you go. And then just to screw it all here. There you go. So here's the screw. Found it. Over here. 
Oh wait, look at that. I think I have the wrong screw. Okay, found the screw. Cleaned up a little bit. Let's screw this in place. And then we're gonna try it out. And there you go. These are all jacked up and they are the same level. And now to test it. So here is my laptop. Let's plug this here. Then we're gonna plug the other end to the laptop, of course. There you go. There you go. It says I now have a network. Let's open Google. Sorry, my computer is a little bit slow. And there we go. Now we have an internet over here. So... If this helps you guys, um, you like the video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Bye.